Hello everyone and welcome to Jojo Sprit Time! This is the Lego Friends Party Shop that came out in 2016 and I decided to rebuild it for 2022 Main Street. I had leftover parts from my second Main Street grocery shop so I decided to make the party shop a corner build and use up all those parts and I feel it has worked out really well being a corner build. I added the coloured transparent bricks at the top to add more colour and let more light in, popped another bunting sticker there on the door. And for the awnings, I wanted to use up the parts that came with the set because I really liked the way that looked and I want to keep the same style of the set. Now here is just a little party hat and a present at the front just so you know that it's a party shop and that was the same with the set. I just tried to figure out how to add it in. This is the little helium gas tank for the helium balloons. And I've popped the balloons in a little container there and they're going to sit out the front of the shop. I think it provides a lot of decoration at the front. That's why I did that. And I just made this little planter box here at the front just to add more colour there. The gumball machine, I changed the colour to fit in with the theme of the shop now. So that goes there. And the little trolley with a very big present there. So that's the front of the shop, how it looks like, and I'll just spin it around. So here, the Technic bricks, I used all of them up from the Main Street spare set I had. I always try and use up as many parts as I can. Now inside, it is so cute inside and there's so many details. We've got a little roll of paper there and a little star to wrap presents in. Got the little scissors there on the countertop. Lots of little fairy ones because you can hire those or buy them if you want. There's some bows to stick on your presents. Lots of party hats and hair accessories to pop on your head. That white panel there with the sticker that's from the original set and that fitted perfectly there because you got party bags and ribbons there on there. Uh, I decided to tile the floor and this is what I came up with and I used the little dots tiles here in the corner. We've got a little cake, you can hire the chocolate fountain stand and there's a little party box. So that fits nicely in there. I try to jam pack this with so many features and this is Jemima. She works at the shop here and she actually lives in the little apartment above. Let's turn it around. I just can't stop staring at this. It is so cute. And the tiling at the front also, the pavers, I thought I'll give it an extra colour there. Mirabelle and Jackson have come to the party shop to buy a balloon. Okay, let's take a look at the apartment now. So I decided to make it pretty much similar to the Main Street corner build just different colours and these are the parts I had on hand. So I made it more white and pink colour scheme here with a few splashes of colour. I made it like a modular also so I tiled the top so you'll be able to remove the other floor also. And here's inside the tiny apartment full of features. I put shelving in there, overhead cupboards, more cabinetry here in the kitchen and a little coffee maker and I made this tiny little fridge so that was super easy that's all brick built the stickers from Olivia's house I had so she's got an oven a sink and over here this little round space I wanted to give her a little table so she could sit there and eat her food and here's a little TV stand I tried to fit as much as I could in this tiny little house so here's the little TV stand, very simply built with a tiny little TV on there. So that's the little TV stand, I'm going to pop it back in here. 
and she need a tiny little couch very simply built um, I didn't want it to take up too much room but just adding that little sticker there like a little cushion just made it look even more cute so that fits in there can't get that mobile out I'll leave that and there's a little cat food tray there because she's got a pet cat of course and now I'll pop it on top and you'll see how this looks like look at that it does look like the main street build but just in a different color but I love it I love that style now here's the bedroom section I made it exactly the same so it would all fit nicely the same style it is hard building mocks when you don't have all the parts you want and you've got an idea in your head but anyway a little tiny desk I wanted to fit in so she's got, she has a little pen holder there that bed's from the new hotel set because I've got heaps of those wanted to use it up I made a little tiny bonsai tree there give her some zen and in that little round corner I wanted a little armchair so she can sit in that cozy little corner and read and I put a little cupcake holder as a lampshade up there and yes there is a bathroom in this tiny little house <laughs> toilet basin and shower all you need in your little bathroom so that turned out great lots of things inside there and we're going to stick it up on top here and this is how it looks like as a three-story this looks so good I love these main street buildings you can make any shops you like for your own city use up old sets that you have so here rooftop garden she has a pet bunny as well I thought instead of a chook she has a bunny did the same sort of outdoor setting and the roof line here so I wanted to use up some parts of the original but then change a few extra things that's why I added the little flowers there they're on the angle I use the white masonry bricks still I love those but just change the colors to fit in more into this style of my build now time to get that roof on and that's how it looks I'm loving this so colorful but not too colorful and this is how it looks like against some of the other buildings from the main street that I have I still need to do the roof for that um, and all the furniture for those new um, apartments I haven't gotten around to it and Dottie's apartment I want to like build the walls up on the side I haven't decided what to do there yet that's why it looks like that but I will finish it off and I still need to do a bedroom in there so that's how that looks like if you want two corner builds like that or here's another angle of what it could look like as a corner building this way my Lego friends party shop adding to my main street I'm obsessed with these main street buildings now I am looking at all my old sets on how I can remodel them to fit into my main street I love these cute little buildings they don't take up as many bricks and they just look so super cute and you can rebuild to whatever you like so everyone get your bricks out get building and get creative <laughs> 